Good morning, Guardians. The Hijabi Gamer here. And if I sound a little frustrated, this is my second time trying to make this video. I got booted. Anyway, it's Friday, and what a busy, busy week it has been. The week after Black Friday is just chaos and being an inventory person, well, trying to fix all the mistakes from the insanity and chaos of Black Friday. So I can't believe it's Friday, but it's been a busy, busy, busy week, and it's still busy. Anyway, this is Original Destiny, as you can see, the better tower, the nicer tower, the original tower. We are in the great tower. And Zur is here. You can tell by his mark on the stairs. Um, a reminder, my usual reminder, this is Original Destiny. He is only here for 48 hours, so it's about 5.30 a.m. New Jersey time, depending on where you're located outside of New Jersey. Um, it varies. He will be gone, however, basically in 48 hours. He's le he leaves for me 5 a.m. on Sunday. So basically 48 hours from when I post this video, he's gone already. All right. Anyway, we are heading to the right. And he has some decent stuff. He's in the Hunter's Lounge. Yes, it belongs to the Hunters. I didn't even realize that until recently when I noticed the banners hanging are all Hunter banners. You'd think they would have... um all three because there are three banners but they're all hunter banners so sorry titans and warlocks this isn't yours you can you can use it while Zer is here however i bet you, you both all the titans and warlocks like well hunter we got our own secret areas you don't know about yeah, yeah. but um i don't know i just had to check that out i think there, used, there was a spy, sparrow hidden there at one point or uh the level above there was a sparrow a whole thing with a sparrow a halloween one See? Hunter banners. Anyway, he's over here. Righto, righto, righto. Right. So he's got some decent stuff. Look, he doesn't have Trespasser. The moment he doesn't have Trespasser, I'm good. So, first off, we have Invective and Iconoclast. A gun that I still feel does not get enough attention and love that it deserves. Because, um... I mean, I get it. People have told me they nerfed it. So it takes a lot longer for its primary perk, which is this weapon regenerates ammo over time. But it still regenerates ammo. So if you're not very good in Crucible and you don't get that secondary ammo as much as you would like, um, this is great. I've used it in Crucible a while back, back when it was easier to get into Crucible. And I did get a couple of kills with it. Yes, it does take a while. It, they did. You can tell they definitely nerfed it. But it's still great to have a shotgun that creates ammo. Now, it does also have... It can fire in full auto mode, which I feel... I know a lot of people like it with shotguns. It's cool with a shotgun, don't get me wrong. But it does eat through the ammo it generates. Um, but yeah, that's a great perk. It's great for Crucible. Um, you get the ornament Iconoclast, which looks pretty cool. I mean, come on, it's a shotgun. Any ornament looks good. But... My favorite is this one, but that's just because um, Storm's Reproach. But that's because it reminds me of Viso's ship from the new war in Warframe, um, which looked like this before it went kabooey. It, you could see the, the flames and the melted metal on the hull of the ship. But yeah, so the next one, dear God, please keep me on this network. Okay. Nemesis Star and Silver Bullet. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding? Now, the thing to keep in mind... First off, let me just make sure it's not me. No, it's not me. All right. Um, I keep saying this. Just for people, because I know some people have said that this is... But this is only in the mornings. You actually have a better connection to Original Destiny... Than Destiny 2. Um, it's just in the mornings. I don't know why. And it shouldn't be like this. It shouldn't be like this at any time. But I have noticed that I have so much difficulty getting on to Destiny 1 early in the morning. Every Zer video takes at least an hour to make because I am constantly getting booted. The problem is I have to be at work earlier this during the holiday season so I don't have an hour to make this video. This shouldn't be. 
And one of the things that frustrates me is people are always telling me, I, I love it when people try to defend Bungie for this and all their other problems. And then I'm like, but Warframe doesn't have the exact same problems. And Warframe actually has given us more from a smaller developer. Um, hopefully I'll be able to connect. I got into an argument with one guy because Warframe is bringing cross-save. And their cross-save is better than Bungie's. When you did... Oh my god, you got to be kidding me! Um, when Warframe did their... They're doing theirs. It's coming out in December. Um, you can merge your accounts. So... I have a PlayStation Warframe account, an Xbox one, a PC, and a Switch. Now, for one time only, once my... So there's a queue. There's gonna, it's gonna, they're not doing it all at once. Um, you can merge your accounts. So all the stuff you have, like all the stuff I have on my PlayStation account, all the stuff except Platinum on my Switch, but basically everything I have on all my accounts, so all the Platinum I have on my PlayStation, all this, the, 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 the Warframes and the guns and everything I have on my PlayStation account will get merged with my Xbox. So you pick one account and you merge it. You merge all the other ones with that. So you get everything. With, X, with, with, with Destiny, when Destiny 2 did their cross-save, you had to pick a single account. So for me, because my PlayStation account had more exclusive stuff than my Xbox, for Destiny 2, you could only do it with Destiny 2. You can do it with Destiny 1. So Destiny 1, I have two separate accounts, which is why there's no clan on my Xbox. I mean, on my PlayStation account, actually, not my Xbox. Um, you had to pick one account, and you lost everything on the second. So I picked PlayStation, and I lost everything on my Destiny 2 Xbox account. You can merge it. With Warframe, you'll be able to... And someone was like, you, you, it's like, yeah, I'm saying what Bungie did, what DE did was better. So we're heading back. So you got my rant mid midway. I was like, so... You give Bungie so many excuses. And they have more people. More... Than, than, than DE does. Again, though, this is a morning thing. It shouldn't be, but it's a morning thing. This should be working. I don't have this problem with Warframe, ever, ever. The only time I've had difficulty logging onto Warframe is when a new DLC like expansion drops. Then everybody's trying to get on Warframe. So anyway, Nemesis Star and Silver Bullet. All right, Nemesis Star is this one here. Silver Bullet is, it's okay. I mean, it's still a machine gun, so that automatically makes it just kick ass. Meteorite. I, I don't know. I don't really care for the ornaments, but it is still a machine gun, so it automatically makes it, by default, awesome. So you've got... On trigger pull, this weapon's initial burst has a higher rate of fire. And when, looking down, when holding down the trigger, range and accuracy increases as the rate of fire decreases. Kills grand bonus grenade energy. It reminds me of Suros Regime only as a machine gun. Because of this whole hold the trigger and increase, rate of fire increases. Rate of fire decreases as accuracy increases. I believe there's a perk on Soros Regime that does that. Or very similar. But Nemesis Star, I don't know. I've used it. You can see mine is fully unlocked. But it's not like... Honestly, Galahorn just wipes everybody else off the screen. I'm sorry. I love Iron Galahorn with the tracking and the cluster bomb. So... Maybe I should play around more with some of the other guns in Destiny. Um, but, uh, you know, it's been a while since I've actually really expanded my... I just go in and play the default stuff at this point. You know, the stuff I like. I, I use Hunger of Crota a lot, which has tracking and cluster bombs. So it's like a legendary Galahorn. All right. Next we have the Bad Juju. Bad Juju is a good gun to have. It reminds me of that. Reminds me of a turtle from Super Mario Brothers. <laughs> so it looks like somebody took a turtle from Super Mario Brothers and put it on the front. 
but that could just be me. Um, let me know. Does that look like the turtles from Super Mario Bros? This weapon could be fired in full auto mode for our pulse rifle, which is pretty cool. And after each kill, this weapon will reload instantly and increase damage for a short time. Kills will help charge your super. So people use this often when there's trigger, not trigger, a uh, trickle, trickle. And trickle um, decreases the speed your abilities recharge. So this is great for um, combating that so you get your super back faster because trickle will make it so that you almost never get your super. Um, but um, it's a good weapon. A lot of people, yeah, like I said, it's great when you need your super a lot more. So um, the more kills you get, the faster your super will charge. And you don't need to reload, which as someone who's naturally impatient... I don't like to reload. Um, right. So then we've got um, the armor. So for the Titan, you have the glass house, which passes my corpus helmet test. It's not too bulky. As long as your helmet isn't bulkier than a corpus helmet, you're good. Let's see. Am I going to be... Blessing of light and weapons of light last longer. Okay. Titans, I'm sorry. I know those are good things to have. And they're longer... You know what? I, I take it back. This is probably great for like when you're dealing with raid bosses and bosses. All right. I wouldn't use it for the majority of the time, but I'm not a Titan Master. So Titan Masters, school this hunter in my hunter club. We got a cafe and you don't. But let me know. Titans. And at least your Vanguard is an Ikora. But yeah, it looks cool too. The glass house looks cool. All right. This is my favorite hunter armor piece. The Frosties. All right. If you're a hunter, you need to pick this up. Try tighter turn radius while sprinting. Increased grenade and melee regeneration while sprinting. So great. Faster grenade and melee regeneration while running. You know, good, good one to have. It's one of my constants. If I'm not using Frosties, I'm using Celestial Nighthawk. So... Hunters, this is a good one. Pick it up. Non-hunters, this is a good one. If you ever wake up and realize just how kick-ass awesome we hunters are and you decide to play a hunter, you'll have the blueprint for this waiting for you. You need this. It's great to have. So, hunters, yes. you guys got something. We got something good this week. Finally, we got the Skull of Dire Ahamkara for the Warlocks. And this does not pass the Corpus Helmet Test. It's too bulky. The corpus are laughing at you, warlocks. Yes, even the corpus are laughing at you. Delusions of grandeur. Take reduced damage while using Nova Bomb. Improved energy drain abilities. Warlocks, let me know. I have never played Nova Bomb as a warlock. Yes, I know. I played a warlock for one reason. And one reason alone. And warlocks are going to hate me. Self-res. That's it. That's the only reason I played a warlock. Was for self-res. And then Destiny 2 came along. And I'll admit. The flaming swords of flaming awesomeness. Were pretty cool. And I did play a warlock for a little bit. But the main benefit. I hate to break it to you warlocks. You lost it. When Destiny 2 got rid of self for us. I'm sorry. They even kind of ruined Ikora Ray. She had her cool moment at the beginning of Destiny 2. I'll give you that. When she took out that Cabal ship, that was kick-ass. But then she went downhill into the boring snooze fest mode. I mean, I'm pretty sure Vanguard meetings, when she calls all her warlocks in, half of them are like, by the end of the meeting, <sighs> Well, and she goes off on her spiritual mumbo jumbo, which probably comes funny. Sounds funny coming from me, but yes, I'm not a very spiritual person. <laughs> so Ikora Ray bores me to hell. Sorry, guys. And this, the corpus are laughing at you. When the corpus are laughing at you that your helmet is too bulky, I'm sorry, warlocks. The corpus are laughing. Anyway, sorry about the mid mid roll rant. Um, again, just let me be clear because I don't want people, because I know people have said, look, original destiny, the connection is usually good. 
uh, 80% of the time, okay? Destiny 1 has a better connection than Destiny 2. And the only time I have ever had a problem logging into Destiny 1 is usually in the mornings. There are a few times where it wasn't in the morning, but the vast majority of the time, my internet problems with Destiny are in the morning. Destiny 2, on the other hand, there are times where it is nigh on unplayable. Now, I, haven't, I don't know if it's gotten any better, but for a while, I couldn't even complete a mission with Destiny 2. Warframe, I have... Now, again, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe, uh, you know, Warframe people, let me know. But my experience with Warframe has been I can log on at any time and the only time i the, the only time i ever had difficulty logging on was the day or two after the new war dropped which was a big big deal um that's the only time that there was like a log on but i think every time there's a big update with warframe it's a little harder for the first day or two because everybody wants to get on but after that it's very easy their connection is stable i could log on right now onto warframe and not have a single problem. So, um, anyway, thank you for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. Let me know, Warlocks. I'm sorry, Warlocks. I know you guys don't like me. See? Right. And, uh, all right. It's, it's, it'll take a couple seconds. That looks kick ass. I will not deny it. Dagoth, Dagath. Looks kick ass. I mean, it's meant to be a play on. Ooh, Tellurium. Thank you, Darvo. Whose name is. It? Here we go. Ooh. Ooh, new Nightwave stuff. Nice. I heard about that. Cool, cool, cool. All right. Thanks for watching. And uh, I hope to see you in the tower or the origin system. Oh, that looks. Kubro armor and Kavat armor. Stealth Flare Sidana. That looks very cool. I like anything with flames. <laughs>